Iceland, a land true to its name, but also a land of wonders. Welcome to our third day on the Ring Road. Our third day actually included the longest distance we had to drive. So to start off the day, we were lucky to enjoy a few moments in the hot pool. Iceland is quite a busy country and with everything, as long as you get there early, you might enjoy a few moments by yourself. Leaving the gravel roads of the rest fjords behind, we made our way back to the ring road. Our first stop of the day, a 15 meter tall rock used to be part of Icelandic legends. According to these legends, the sun turned a troll to stone the moment he was throwing rocks at a monastery nearby. In the vicinity of this rock you will also find quite a lot of farms. The Icelandic horses are famous and here you will have the best chance of actually seeing some close by. Our next stop is Grafakirkja. This church is one of the few remaining turf churches in Iceland. It's often referred to as the oldest church in Iceland, but only parts of it date back to 1700. The church was actually deconsecrated in the late 1700s and used as a storeroom by local farmers. Only in 1953, after it had been rebuilt to its original form, it had been reconsecrated and is now used as a church again. Our last stop of the day is Godafoss, the waterfall of gods. One theory around the name is that the speaker of the old parliament threw the Nordic idols down this waterfall when Iceland became Christian. This however is just a story and not a proven origin of the name. The cottages at Mivatten had been a pleasant surprise, especially located like this. However, this is one of the locations where the warm water really smelled of sulfur. It's something you have to get used to in Iceland. Thank you for watching.